five, indicate the most important types of intermolecular attractions in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have Cl2 in Br2, right? Cl2 gas in Br2 liquid. Let's find out the most important type of intermolecular attraction. Now, in order to do this, the, the easiest way to do this is first identify if you have ionic compounds or covalent. And Cl2 and Br2 are both nonmetals, so we're dealing with covalent compounds here. And with covalent molecules, the easiest way is to just quickly draw the Lewis structure, right? Just to see what's going on here. So if I just quickly draw Cl2 and Br2, we've done tons of videos on this channel learning how to do the Lewis structures. So if you do need to go back to that, you could always check the channel out. I'm just going to do a quick inversion here. You could always pause the video and see if your Lewis structure matches mine. But in this case, we have Cl2 and Br2. These are halogens, so they have one bond uh, each, and then you have the three lone pairs around each one. So we got bond. Okay. Now, after we do this, we have to figure out if this is a polar or a nonpolar molecule. And remember the acronym SNAP. The N and the P stand for nonpolar and polar. And the S and the N go together, and the A and the P go together. If your molecule is symmetrical, you will have a nonpolar molecule. But if your molecule is asymmetrical, you will have a polar molecule. So if I cut this molecule right down the middle, I have two equivalent chlorines. That's symmetrical. This would be nonpolar. And if I cut down the bromine right down the middle, I have the two bromines. They're identical. So those are nonpolar as well. Now from here, list out your intermolecular forces that we know and love for nonpolar molecules. And for nonpolar molecules, they only got one. And that is your dispersion force. They do not have dipole-dipole because they are nonpolar and not polar, and they do not have hydrogen bonding because they don't have any hydrogens. So I'm not even gonna think of that. And the most important type of intermolecular attraction is the highest force that they have in common. So since they both have dispersion forces and that's all that they got, the most important intermolecular attraction would be that dispersion force. And that's the end for this one. Not bad. Let's color it in and call it a video. Okay, what'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Tell your friends, tell your classmates. We'd love to help them out too. I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.